Welcome to a special YouTube only edition of JK on the Run Mobile Media Edition. I guess it would be show number 31, except I didn't really intend to shoot a video today, but you know, every once in a while something comes your way that you find really exciting and you want to share it with the readers and the viewers and the listeners of JK on the Run. And this is one of those things. What you see in front of you right now is the smartphone that I'm using these days. It's the Samsung i320. It's uh, I don't think it's available in the U.S. regularly unless you buy it unlocked from somebody that deals in imports. But anyway, it's a really sweet Windows Mobile smartphone. It runs Windows Mobile 5, and but that's not what's got me excited. That's not what I'm intending to show you here today and why I'm not even on camera this time. There, I, I got notified today by a developer of a program, a new interface inspired by Windows Vista, all the mania surrounding the, the Vista launch tonight in New York and tomorrow it's officially available. And this developer, it's a company called JGUI, and they've been developing Windows Mobile software for quite some time. And, and the developer notified me today, Janus did, that he had just finished a special interface for Windows Mobile smartphones and phone editions. If, if, you, if you use a phone edition, you know, don't, don't despair. This program is available for you too. But anyway, let me show you. I, I started to write it up on JK on the Run and I realized that a written description is not going to do it justice. You've got to see it in action. So I guess what I've got to tell you is who needs the iPhone when you've got a V phone? This is the Today screen that the Windows Vista smartphone interface gives you. As you can see, it's I have it set to change colors. It just cycles through the colors. You can fix that to a static color if you've got a favorite. But this Today screen is beautiful. First of all, I'm going to have to keep the... Uh, interface keep my screensaver from kicking out I should have stopped the power management shouldn't I but this program gives you all the information right there it's really cool you've got your day and date up here you've got I've got it set to display the weather with nice animated icons that shows me what's coming on signal strength and battery strength and then this cool analog clock which I have set in the settings to always stay on top no matter what screen I go to. And you say, what, what do you mean what screen? Well, look what happens when you press the D-pad. I've got full weather for my area. All the detail I want. Notice how the clock stayed there and the different colors are cycling through. It's really cool. Press it again. You can select one RSS feed to follow and it will show you the one latest uh, news item or article on the home page that we started from but here I got a whole page full and every one of these I can cycle down and if I click on them it'll take me to the website using the browser really cool and as you can see it's JK on the run news you can toggle back and forth there's JK on the run again. Oops, I went too far that time. I was pulling it down. Messages history it shows you a page full of the last uh, messages, emails, text messages that I've gotten. And see how fast and smooth that is? And then uh, my missed phone calls history. Now, one of the cool things that this does, is you can see, it's now showing me I've gotten an email message. Sorry, I didn't mean to turn it. Let me move a little bit. And I've got the little mail icon, and it's toggling. And if I press down, 
it'll tell me information as to what email account and who sent the who sent the email and then I'll get a little one page the subject for it and of course if I click on it right now it's going to let me reply to it um, right now the developer is working on making it so that you can click and get to the messages app that's probably going to be done shortly he said but look how fast this is it's just so cool and you can go in the settings and totally customize it I don't know if you can see at the bottom you've got the little Vista orb you've got a start menu which works just like it's supposed to on the smartphone takes you right in there and then the right button says menu and it is the settings menu so if we go into settings we can change it tell you what let's fix this to a certain color you want red yeah let's go with the red so we will save that now it's just going to stay red rather than cycle through like it was update weather update news other settings we can do the sidebar we can tell it to keep that sidebar always on top which I don't I do have the clock always on top got the second hands the moon image which actually tells you oh cover up the incoming phone I don't know what that does and cover up the home screen which I think just replaces it completely now I talked to the developer he's adding a lot of stuff as we speak he's getting it really tightly integrated and what's beautiful about this is since he's developed it optimized for the smartphone you can uh, run everything with just a few buttons and a d-pad no touch screen but you can also run it on a phone edition like I said you see it's shit it's rainy conditions here too bad but I just wanted to show this this is just so cool it's awesome and I've been running it since he told me about it today for the rest of the day literally half the day and it is just wonderful I am really enjoying this program and I got really excited and that usually I mean that happens so seldom that when it happens you've got to jump on it straighten this up on it there you go so this program is interesting there's a freeware version which basically only gets you this this home today screen here and then there is a paid version which I think on Handango is $19.99 it's available in a few other places via PayPal whatever which unlocks all the other pages and he's he's still doing a lot Jay Gooey is doing a lot of work ongoing with it and it's just uh, pretty cool in fact I'm gonna try something here I'm on the feed take you on the run feed I clicked on the the news item that was on the front page and now it's taken me to our website which is going to be really slow because obviously it's a big website not got real poor signal here so I tell you what I'm gonna stop that but you can put any feed in there and there's some predefined ones as well like in gadget and some of the other ones this program is just cool I just I just can't tell you and all of this weather information is there. I think it comes from weather.com. I just put in my zip code and I've gotten all of these highs and lows, graphs, weather conditions from the forecast, barometric pressure, anything you could possibly want. Missed phone calls. Click on one of them and with the action button here in the middle and it'll automatically recall them. Messages history, like I said, you can spin through and you see a synopsis of what came in. RSS feed once again, weather, and home page. So that's it. I just want to give you a very brief tour of, I think it's called, what is it called? 
I'm going over here on the web. You just pretend that you can't see me doing this, which you can't. Uh, I think it's called a Window Vista Smartphone Vista Smartphone Interface. That's what it's called. But I like to call it V-Phone, like I said. So this has been James Kendrick with JK on the Run Mobile Media Edition Special Edition showcasing the Vista Smartphone Interface for Windows Mobile Smartphones and Pocket PC Editions. I'll get you the link in the post. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye now.